We all know that Mitt Romney's not willing to denounce the birthers. And in fact, he's proud to lock arms on stage with the biggest birther of them all, Donald Trump. And he's losing so bad to a bomber with every single minority group that he needs to win every shade of the white vote just to remain competitive. I mean, every shade from Jim Gaffigan, translucent to John Boehner, uh-huh. safety alert cone. So Mitt, Mitt decided to appeal to Whitey himself with some bad comedy. And here it is. I love being home in this place where Ann and I were raised, where both of us were born. <laughs> Ann was born at Henry Ford Hospital. I was born at Harper Hospital. No one's ever asked to see my birth certificate. They know that this is the place that we were born and raised. Good one. No, that's hilarious. Uh, you notice people aren't laughing; they're cheering. Which uh, you know, you know why nobody's ever asked you for your birth certificate, Mitt? Because you're white. That's why. Because you're white. What a knee slapper! I got a tag for you, Mitt. Try this one after you do that joke next time. Say, hey, I hear the New York police stopped and frisked over two hundred thousand blacks and Hispanics in January of this year alone. Well, I was in New York, and nobody ever stopped and frisked me. I <laughs> uh, see. It's the same kind of joke. It's because you're. It's it's a joke that highlights that you're from privilege and you're white. Okay. The crowd wasn't laughing with him. They were laughing at Obama. black people. At bla- <laughs> right. That, that's what they were laughing at. Mm. And you, So you have to ask yourself, what is the joke there? Is the joke that nobody would ever question you, Mitt Romney, in the ways that they have been questioning the black guy for the past three years? Because that's the whole point, Mitt. Nobody would ever think to question a rich white guy, but now even the top of the Republican ticket participates in the the worst race baiting campaign since Willie Horton. Yes, you are the majority and black guys with funny sounding names scare the hell out of a big swath of white America. So let's pander to those and enjoy the cheers of the scared and the ignorant. I don't think Romney said that. And the thing that makes this even more nefarious or rotten to the core is that Romney doesn't really think Obama isn't an American citizen. He's just hoping white conservatives will think he thinks that mm-hmm. that is really what's happening. It's very clever. Uh, do, do how is he able to separate himself from the birtherism stuff? Well, he's. <clears throat> I think he has a lot of natural ability as a repre- reprehensible person, <laughs> but uh, he needs to um, to convince the Tea Party that he's even more reprehensible than he than he really is. Uh, I th- that is exactly what he's trying to do. He's trying to be, mm. he's trying to act like he's a worse person than he is. I mean, he's had a long productive life of not caring about poor people and and being greedy and enriching himself. But because of his lack of skills as a politician, he's he's had a hard time conveying that, and he needs to um, to to bring the birther stuff and all that. Well, Chris Hardball actually. Uh, well, so we all know. So there, so there's the that was that was pretty jaw dropping. Him participating in that. Now they yes, it was. They've tried to play it off like mm. it was just a, a joke, and he's bad at joking. And um, but but there's also it, you know it comes on the heels of his welfare commercial, right? The welfare commercial which says that Barack Obama quietly lifted the work requirements for welfare. So so the meme is that the whole narrative is that Barack Obama is taking white people's money that you pay in taxes and, and handing it out to black poor people. And the reason they're saying that is because he never did that. He didn't even remotely do that. Right. And they're just saying it anyway. They're just saying they're exactly Frank. They're just saying so it's black is white, up is down, in is out. There's and and it's not really getting debunked like it should. Like that welfare ad didn't it, it did get debunked like newspapers and stuff said, "Hey, this isn't true." And even other Republican governors have said it's true, but they if you repeat it and you run ads uh, c- constantly, it doesn't matter if it's true or who debunks it because it sinks in. So Chris Hardball was on uh, Morning Joe, and he actually he was on with R- Reince Priebus, who is the mm-hmm. our, uh, Republican National Committee chairman and a beloved Disney character, <laughs> and a beloved. Di- and he talks like he's drunk. I don't mm-hmm. know if you've ever noticed that. Yes, I have noticed that. Uh, he's always like a little bit drunk, um, brain damaged. A little, I think so. Uh, like he had a stroke and nobody told mm-hmm. him. And uh, he's a young guy, Reince, Reince Priebus. That's why the new Toyota Priebus car doesn't work that well because <laughs> it feels like it's that drunk. Drunk, yes. And uh, so here he is. So here's Chris Hardball. He actually brings it up. He actually brings it up. And uh, oh, by, by the way, Tom Brokaw's on the panel. So here we go. 
Yeah, I have to call you on this, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Oh, You've Lord. been suggesting that somehow Obama's been running a negative campaign, Obama and yeah. your guy's been running a positive campaign. That's not accurate. In fact, that they both stopped all the negative, I'm not sure who would win, but they've both been negative. That cheap shot about, I don't have a problem with my birth certificate, was awful. It is an embarrassment to your party to play that card. This stuff about getting rid of the work requirement for health for welfare is dishonest. Everyone's pointed out it's dishonest. And you are playing that little ethnic card there. You can play your games and giggle about it. Well, but I the fact is your side is playing that card. Okay, well, when you start talking about work requirements, you know what game you're playing. And everybody knows what game you're playing. It's a race card. So, so is that surprise anybody that Chris Hardball did that? Yes. Is um, it- not, not, not completely um, because he's, he's – you know, I think that he uh, he respects power. He respects political power, and Obama is the one who has political power now, and so he's on his side. So it doesn't surprise me when he when he uh, does stuff on Bo- on Obama's half in that way. And and from listening to it, you hear the audience applaud, but. By not watching, you don't realize that he has just said something incredibly awkward around to be around a bunch of other pundits and journalists. Yes, uh, he has. In fact, you he's made them all very uncomfortable. uncomfortable. They're yes. all very uncomfortable. Too on the nose. Yeah. So let's let's see how this plays out. And this thing about a bird, uh, yeah, if your name's Romney, yeah, you were well born, you went to prep school, yeah, brag about it. And this guy has an African name and he's got to live with it. Look who's going okay, further did, did in their life. Just a minute. Really? Who was born on third base? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is absurdity. Making fun of the guy's birth certificate issue wait, when it was never a real issue, you except think, from the right wing. You think right. that Romney's playing the race card? When he when he said, there's no doubt he did with his birth certificate. No doubt. No doubt. Why would he bring it up? Why would he say I have no problem with my birth certificate? What's that supposed because to say? Because he's an awkward joke. Because no, because no. he he misfired badly on the show. Why would he do it? Well, I'm just asking you. Do you think do you think that Mitt Romney is playing the race card? Oh, well, now and yeah. Do you really? Oh yeah, and I think his wow. work requirement fits right into it. That's the race card too. Huh? Of course it is. Welfare, no. okay. food stamps. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. Right. Chris- I'd love to see Joe Scarborough in 1955, Georgia. So you're telling me Jim Crow is racism? Is that what you're telling me? I can't. You're telling me that's. You're telling me Bull Connor trying to keep order on a bridge is racism? And a man who um, who openly makes appearances and fundraises with Donald Trump. The idea that he's not playing the race card <laughs> is is pretty ridiculous. And, and to Joe, Joe Scarborough is the host of a show. Mm-hmm. He's uh, stunning. It, mm-hmm. it's, it's official. Joe Scarborough, wor- world's worst detective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> world's I think he's being coy. I think uh, mm-hmm. the Emmy goes to Joe Scarborough because I don't I don't think he's serious about that. I mean, I, I think I, he's, no, I, I think he's I, I think, think he's, he's serious. Yeah, because if uh, he does say absurd stuff like that all the time, and and um, he's like you. Oh my, that's just this is just you're gonna to say that that's racism? Yes, racism is racism. Yeah, Joe, mm. it's okay. It actually exists still today, Joe. Right. Well, that's what well, they, they... To think that welfare thing is not a racist thing, it seems yeah. disingenuous for mm. Scarborough to pretend that, it, that, he, that he doesn't mm. see it. He thought the Willie Horton ad was, was an effort to reach out him on the... <laughs> the ethnic Diversify. Groups. Yes. So, so Joe Scarborough just can't follow it. What what could anything what could anything that connects Obama to welfare have to do with race? That's a real stretch. <laughs> Matthews, don't pull a hamstring. Come on. Let's remember that the joke is nobody would ever question me, a rich white guy, like they are doing to an unpedigreed black guy. Mm-hmm. Even if he delivered it with Chris Rock level skill, it's still a horrible joke that only ex- excites a scared bully. That's not a real joke. 